Hi guys, so today I will be styling my hair in a wash and go using Shea Moisture's new Zanzibar Marine Complex Collection. So this is a new collection that is in Target and it's part of Target's Community Commerce Made to Matter collection just like the Manuka Honey and Marula Oil collection that's in the brown bottle. This is a new product, it's really really moisturizing, it's great and I know if you guys like Shea Moisture like I do, you can definitely check it out in your local Target, it should be there right now. People have already had great reviews about it and I used it for the first time today. I used the conditioner and this is the Zanzibar Marine Complex Age Defy and Color Protect Conditioner. And I used this product today for my co-wash and I conditioned with it. So it's not a co-wash but I decided to condition with it anyway and co-wash with it to cleanse my scalp and moisturize my hair at the same time. I will say that I'm really really impressed with this product mainly because it has a lot of slip and I look for slip in my products and it's really lightweight it's not too heavy on your hair so if you're not looking for something that's too heavy I definitely recommend trying this out of course they're Shea Moisture products so they're great for your skin your body and you know they're animal friendly and it just have really great organic ingredients in the products so some of the main ingredients in this product is the Zanzibar Marine Complex and basically this is a blend of sea kelp and it has red algae and it's rich in polysaturized, so I hope I pronounced this correctly, and it protects and moisturizes your hair. So it's great for people that have color treated hair and it can protect your hair, especially after you just had a color treatment. It also has black pearl protein in it, and this is a natural marine protein. And it also has sea buckthorn oil, which is rich in omegas 5, 6, 7, and 9, and it's known to quench your hair and provide a lot of moisture in your hair. And it's great for stronger, thicker hair over time when you use this. So I co-wash my hair with the conditioner and I also lift it in to detangle my hair and just, you know, let it sit and moisturize my hair and then I rinse it out. And then I follow with the Zanzibar Marine Complex Age Defy Color Protect Leave-In Conditioner. Now as you can see, this leave-in conditioner is a little different from most Shea Moisture leave-in conditioners. It actually has a little spray so you can spray it on your hair. What I like to do is spray it in my hands. You do not get a lot coming out. But it does a great job moisturizing your hair and defining your curls as well. And I use this as my leave-in. And it has the same thing as the conditioner. And it's really great if you're not trying to use a lot of product, especially for second day hair. I'm pretty sure I can use this to smooth some frizzy spots and just spray a little in my fingers. And I go on with it. And I also used another product on my hair today with my tutorial. And that is the Shea Moisture Curling Gel Souffle. I used a little bit per section when I sectioned my hair and use that as my gel. It provides a very light hold when you use it correctly. I know a lot of people have problems with using this product, but I will explain this video. A little goes a long way and does a great job with detangling your hair even more and providing a nice shine to your hair and also creating nice dimension and just giving your hair a nice feel overall once it's done. So you will see what I did in a video and I thank you guys so much for watching and let's get started. So I am starting on damp hair. I have already conditioned and co-washed my hair with the Zanzibar Marine Complex Age Defy and Color Protect Conditioner. And now I'm going to use the leave-in from this collection as well. So I just like to separate my hair and just make sure I don't have any tangles in it before I start applying the product. And again, I section my hair off. And now I'm going to apply my leave-in and I'm just squirting the leave-in in my hands. And you can always add more if you need it. And I just smooth it through. And then I take my fingers and detangle it. One thing that helps me with single strand knots is detangling my hair a lot. I condition and detangle my hair a lot when I am doing wash and goes or twist outs, especially wash and goes. So I really like to detangle my hair and ensure that I do not have any knots in my hair. I always add more conditioner if I feel like my hair isn't moisturized enough. That has helped me over the years. I do get single strand knots, but I do not get huge knots in my hair from my wash and goes. Single strand knots is something that just comes with having a wash and go natural hair. It's just something that comes with the territory.
and I continue to smooth the product through. And then I move on to the next section. And this product has a great amount of slip. I have noticed that it does a great job with removing tangles with ease and I didn't have to struggle to get any tangles out of my hair. So if you're curious about the smell, this product has a really nice clean smell. It's a little strong for me right now and that's only because I am inspecting so I can smell things a little more than usual, but I really do like it. So the next thing I'm using right now is the Shea Moisture Curling Gel Souffle and this is going to help with shine and it's also going to help with definition. And I'm just using a little bit, it doesn't take much. All I'm doing is just tapping my finger in the jar and it grabs most of the product and you'll be surprised like how it defines the curls and it doesn't make your hair sticky if you use it correctly. So I use about a dime size, sometimes a nickel size amount per section depending on how thick the section is. That's all you need to do and then you just run it through. And now I'm done with my hair and I'm getting ready to scrunch it just to enforce the curl. I started doing this recently after my recent cut. It does help with curl definition and curl formation. And then I'm going to let my hair air dry. So about an hour and 30 minutes later my hair is completely dry and as you can see it is a little crispy. It's not extremely hard but it does form a gel cast if you do not use too much the curling gel souffle. So what I'm going to do now is massage my scalp lightly to lift the cast and remove it. And I just do this throughout my head and I repeat it. I do it for about two to four minutes until my hair feels really soft. And then I start scrunching my hair. And the scrunching part is included in the two to four minutes when I'm removing the gel cast. So as you can see, I'm just scrunching and scrunching until my hair gets softer and as you notice, the hair starts to get fuller and you'll still have definition in your curls but you would not have crispy looking curls. And this is how you can remove the hard gel cast if you use gel on your hair or if your conditioner gets hard after it dries. And now it's complete and here's the back and the side. And that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.